hi guys welcome to my channel today we will make this very delicious banana bread recipe oh my god my friend made this for me and i ate it for the first time and i'm addicted this is so good do you want to make banana bread come y hazlo con su We will take three ripe bananas and mash it. I use three bananas, but if they are smaller, you could use four. For me, three was good enough. And you're going to preheat your oven at 325 degrees. You're going to put that mixture aside. And in a separate bowl, you're going to take one cup of brown sugar with half a cup of room temperature unsalted butter. You're going to mix it together until it becomes creamy. You can make this in your stand mixer, but this is so fast and easy, it's not really worth it to get the stand mixer dirty. You will continue to mix it and mix it until it's all incorporated. Here you see that I changed to a whisk because to me it's easier and it will be easier to continue to incorporate the rest of the ingredients. Now we need to beat in two eggs. I break each one of my eggs separately in a little bowl because like you see here, I have this little shell. I don't want that to be incorporated in my mixture. So that's why I do them separately. So I take my two eggs, I beat in one egg first and when that one is incorporated, then I throw in the next one. Remember that I will have all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box. Now it's time to add the rest of the wet ingredients that are the vanilla and the milk. And we're going to incorporate it and then we will add the mixture of the mashed bananas that we did in the beginning. And we're just going to incorporate all together. Can we count how many times I said incorporate? To me this is just too funny. Anyways, let's continue to mix the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. We're going to mix the baking powder, baking soda the salt and the ground cinnamon we will take a separate whisk and we're going to mix it all together now we're going to combine the two mixtures you can do the wet into the dry or the dry onto the wet i did the wet into the dry um, and you're going to mix it together to incorporate uh, both mixtures. But once you see no more flour, when the last bit of flour disappear, you're going to stop mixing because you don't want your bread to be too tough. If you over mix it, you're going to create gluten and that's going to make your bread um, comes out tougher. Um, I personally love nuts. But if you don't like nuts or you are allergic, you can just leave it out. Um, I love it, so I add it into my bread. And now it's time to put it into the mold to bake. In the description box, I have a link of how I prepare my pans. This was smelling so good, my knees couldn't even wait for it to be done. If you see that the bread is getting to the color that you want, but it's not yet done, you put some aluminum foil on top and it will continue to bake, but it will not overburn. This bakes at 325 for one hour and 10 minutes. And you could also make it in muffins or in a really big uh, bun pan, however you want it. It's your option how you want it. I just wanted to thank you for watching my videos, subscribe to my channel, and please follow me on Facebook on Aslo Consult. Thank you!